Oh, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be looking at series and parallel uh, circuits basically going on. Now we're going to have more than one thing uh, here. We're going to have more than one energy source. So we're going to have more than one like voltage type thing and we're going to have more than one resistor going on as well. Okay. So series. Series, I like to say it's a circuit that's not branching. Series is a circuit where there's only one path that elect electricity can flow through, okay? We're going to make a nice little uh, AA battery here. Now, AA batteries run at 1.5 volts. Um, I'm just going to pretend that the electricity goes through them this way towards the little bump. I think if you want to be technical, it's actually going the opposite way, but I'm just going to say it's this way, okay? So if I have electricity running through this thing, I'm going to get 1.5 volts, or that's how much push I'm going to get as I'm a little electron running through here. I have this much want or this much desire to go from one side and go all the way around the circuit to the other side. Now, we're going to put another battery right into the end of it. Now I go through two batteries. Now both these batteries, if they're both double A's or whatever, it's 1.5 volts. It's kind of funny that D batteries, C batteries, uh, AAA batteries, they all run at 1.5 volts. I guess the, uh, the difference is the number of material that they have in them, so the number of electrons that they can actually push through. Okay, so now in this case, I would come out here, I would actually if I went through two batteries that are wired in series, I would come out with three volts, three volts of push, okay? I'm just gonna stick one more on just for the fun of it. Um, pretend that that's actually bigger. That would be another 1.5 volts. If I went through this one as well, I now have four and a half volts of push to get through to get from one side to the other. Now I'm just gonna put a nice little light bulb right there. Light bulbs make some resistance as the electron f pushes its way through. It's going to lose. It's going to slow down. Uh, it's going to lose some of its energy. It's going to lose its voltage, and it's going to come back with zero volts of electricity. Okay. Now, in this circuit, it's going to dump all of its voltage at that light bulb right there. Okay. Now let's add some more, but this time we're going to add more light bulbs. We're going to put them in series. We're going to put two more in series. That means there's only one path. Electrons, they have to go through the batteries, and they have to force their way through all three of these light bulbs. Now, good question is, are they still going to come out here with 4.5 volts and back with 0 volts? And the answer is yes. Okay. There's going to be, they're going to lose... 1.5 volts at this light bulb, 1.5 volts at this light bulb, 1.5 volts at this light bulb, okay? Uh, they're going to lose one-third of their voltage, no matter what it is, one-third of their voltage at each light bulb. Uh, if this was, say it's not a four and a half, say they had 12, oops, sorry about that, 12 volts coming out here, they would lose four volts at this guy, four volts at this guy, and four volts at this guy. If there's three resistors or three light bulbs, they're going to lose one third of their electricity at each one. Okay? So now that brings us into ohms. So what happens to the resistance or the ohms of the entire circuit? as we add more and more resistors, or in this case, as we add more and more light bulbs, in this case, the resistance would increase. Uh, more things slowing down, down the flow of electricity increases the resistance, okay? Now, you just find it by saying, figuring out the resistance of one light bulb, and then add it to the resistance of the next one, add it to the resistance. If you added up all the resistance, you would get the resistance of the circuit, okay? These are all the same light bulbs, and you could just figure out the resistance of one guy and multiply it by how many light bulbs you have, okay? Now let's go down to parallel. Parallel is going to be a little bit different. Um, you could say a parallel circuit is a circuit where there is a branched path, or you could also say there's multiple paths that electricity is going to take. Okay, We're going to pretend once again that you are a little electron and you're going through a battery. For right now, let's just put, let's have three batteries just to keep it like the other example, but let's have just one light bulb for right now. 
Now this circuit that I'm drawing here, this is going to be a parallel. These are batteries wired in parallel, okay? You're a nice little electron. You go through this guy right here. You now have, you have 1.5 volts of uh, 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 of push, of power. That's how much energy you have to get from one place to the other place. Now, you are not going to come out with one and a half and then go backwards through this battery and come out here with zero volts. You can't go backwards through a battery. And so you're gonna come out with 1.5 volts. You're not gonna go through this guy. You're not gonna go through the next battery. You're just gonna go through that light bulb right there. Now it should be noted that if there's only one light bulb on there, you're gonna dump all one and a half volts of energy. And so that you can come back home with no volts. You're gonna lose all your energy. So up here in series, as we added more batteries, we saw the voltage increase. Here you can add more batteries voltage is not going to increase at all your toy or whatever you're dealing with it might last longer if you have more batteries but the voltage or the amount of push is not going to change at all okay now let's take a look at the ohms or the resistance of this thing so if you have one light bulb you have a certain amount of resistance as the electricity flows through now the question is what's going to happen to the resistance of the circuit as I add more light bulbs, okay? Now, in this case, the resistance of the circuit will actually decrease. You get less resistance as you add more light bulbs. Uh, you can think about like cars on the highway. If there's only one exit ramp that someone can take to get downtown, you're gonna have a lot of resistance or a lot of backup on that exit ramp right there. But if the city builds extra exit ramps to get to downtown, there's going to be less resistance or less traffic because there's more paths that they can actually take. Uh, sometimes I relate it to college. If there is only one college in America, that, that, that's just where I am right now, uh, if, there is more, if there is one college in America, it's going to be extremely difficult to get into that school. But as they build more colleges, that actually makes it a little bit easier hopefully, to get into school. Now, in this case, how could you figure out the resistance of the circuit? Uh, the hard way is one over the total resistance equals one over the first resistance, or resistor, the first light bulb, plus one over the second resistor, plus one over the third resistor, and so on and so forth. Now, this works very, very well. Um, when the resistors have different resistance, if they, uh, they, they slow the electricity down more or less. The easy way to do it, if all the light bulbs are the same, if these are all the same wattage or whatever light bulbs, then you can just say, to get the total resistance of the circuit, you can just take your resistor of one of the light bulbs, any of these light bulbs, if they're the same, take the resistance of one of the light bulbs and divide it by however many light bulbs there are. In this case, it would be divided by three because there's three different light bulbs or there's three different paths that the electricity can take going through those light bulbs. All right, so I hope that helps you a little bit understand what's the difference between something wired in series and what's wired in parallel. And hopefully you have kind of a mental picture of little electrons going through these things, speeding up, slowing down, whatever is necessary. Okay, hey, hope this helps. Talk to you later. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.